Hello, SCOP 357, Professor Jackie here, and I wanted to jump on and just do a quick tutorial on how to develop your YouTube channel art. I know that this week we're going to be discussing that, and as we look at colors and ideas to kind of enhance and make your personal brand or your vision for your channel pop, um, I thought it would be a good idea to just kind of show you um, some basics on developing YouTube channel art. So we are in Canva currently. And um, if you have a Canva account, it's free. You can just log on, type in, create an email, create, a, create an account and get an access to several different templates that you can use to create different designs. So to do this one that you see here, all I did was go to, um, YouTube channel art, just typed it in here. And I went to create a blank YouTube channel art. And that will give you a blank canvas. So it'll look something like this. So with that, I the next thing that you want to do once you have your blank canvas is you want to go and search for YouTube channel art guide. Just Google it. It'll look like this. I'll pull it over here. And you want to put this in your blank canvas before you start designing. And the reason you want to do that is because you want the guides to make sure that you have a design that's responsive for several devices, desktop, tablet, and mobile. Um, the most important area is the safe zone right here, text and logo safe area. So you wanna make sure the key main components of your design live within this space. And then secondarily, um, you wanna fill in the side spaces where it says desktop max, kinda of wanna have some secondary components in there, but your logo, um, your uh, frequency at which you're going to be uploading videos, kind of your content pillars, all of that information should go central right here in the text and logo safe area. So to begin designing, what you would do, you would go to elements, create a square there, and just put that over your guide. Oop, I mean to do that, put that over your guide. And then you want to select a color. I'm going to select a, for you, you will be figuring out what your channel or YouTube channel brand colors are and kind of be creating your own color palette, so to speak. Um, I am going to just pull in color that I like to use. Uh, so not quite white, but just kind of a tinted white color. There we go. So now you have kind of your blank canvas for your YouTube channel. And the next thing you can do is just go hover up here in, a, in the transparency panel and just slide that over just so you can see what you're doing. And so that that's the main thing. Um, making sure that you pull this guide in so that you can kind of design in the safe zone. So from there, I went to Unsplash and I found a photo that I liked. I pulled it into a background remover. It's this background remover app that you can, or website that you can go to and just upload and it'll take the background off. A lot of mobile apps do this too. Um, so I pulled that in there and so I have that photo here, so I can pull her in there. And again, it's just making sure she's in that safe zone area. Um, there, so I placed my subject there. And so you can do this for yourself if you are going, if your personal brand is going to be a staple for your YouTube channel. And for a lot of you, it sounds like it is. You want to have a nice photo um, that really allows your personality and the spirit of your brand and your content to really come through. So you're going to want to be planning to get a, um, maybe have a, a photo shoot 
for your channel before you design your channel art. So I have my photo in there. Um, and then this is the finished product. So I'm not, I'm not gonna go through every single step. The main thing is just making sure that your design stays central in this text and logo safe area. Um, if you're interested in how I did this, I kind of just used some different um, handwritten um, text within Canva. So this is a moon time. I pulled a gradient um, option here and just play with some patterns and some shapes and some colors and put some particulars on there. Main thing, you want to have your logo for a lot of YouTube vloggers. I see them just using their name. And that's a way to brand yourself because not everyone has your name, not everyone has the way that you, your, um, your signature, it could also be a logo for your channel. Um, so you could just use your name or some variation of your name um, in a handwritten form. And then here you could have your content pillars listed, um, or you could have an I help statement, the, the branding, like I help, um, I help those who feel like outsiders um, find a safe space and um, you can kind of figure out how you want your messaging, your key messaging to be placed here. You definitely want to have your brand colors uh, visible and then also communicating um, how your frequency for your videos. So if you're not going to be producing content on a weekly basis, um, then you probably don't want to put that there. But if you are planning to be cranking out content every Sunday or every Saturday, you can communicate that there as well. So we will discuss this more in class, but that these the main thing is just to make sure that you have this guide so that you're designing in a space and you don't create this beautiful YouTube channel art um, and have to redo it just because things aren't aligned. So that is the video for today. And um, just want you guys to kind of see what's possible. And I look forward to guiding and working with you on this this week. All right. I will see you in class.